Hello, I'm going to show you guys how to organize your music in Rekordbox so you guys can play on XDJs or CDJs with uh, that use Rekordbox. All you do is plug in your flash drive into the, some of these decks and you just have your music and you're good to go. You know, everything's good. Uh, first things first, I would probably recommend organizing your music in iTunes. So by that, a lot of you guys probably have your music just in songs, which is cool. I, I like to do uh, by genre and bitrate kind of deal. So I have all my music organized by genre. That way, if I'm trying to go for a specific song, I know exactly what kind of genre it is and I know how I organize it. So once you have all your playlists here set up in iTunes and organize all your music, um, you can access those playlists directly from Rekordbox on the left side here. And as you can see, you got my bass folder and all this stuff here, all these different types of music, hip hop, house, dubstep, uh, friends playlists that I have. Um, so when, when you have all your songs in here through iTunes, you can just go to each playlist and you can find the songs that you need to have analyzed. So for instance, this one at the bottom is not analyzed because there's a blank slate right here compared to the other ones. There's all these waveforms. You can see all the different colors. So that's how you can tell like these are, you know, different parts of the song. And um, so when you, when you have these empty ones, you need to click and drag it directly up to the collection here and it will analyze it right here. It shows that it's getting analyzed. And then once it's done, you'll see this little waveform with all the colors. Yours will probably be blue. I have mine set to RGB because I, I like the colors. Um, if you have a ton of songs, you don't have to drag one by one individually. You can click at the bottom or click at the top. Shift, hold down shift and click at the top or the bottom. Click and drag and you can drag all those to the collection right there and it would be good to go. Uh, so after you have them all analyzed in the collection, you're going to have all these songs and you have everything good to go. Uh, you can reorganize them if you'd like into different playlists on your flash drive this way but I just like to pull my songs from the iTunes library itself because I get to see all everything here I got the everything BPM bitrate so I have uh, my device plugged in right now you're gonna see this thing called devices you're gonna click the arrow here you're gonna see a flash drive little symbol and the, it's gonna be probably D or E drive whatever it's called and you're gonna click the little side arrow here it's gonna drop down a menu and you're gonna see this thing called playlist. You're not gonna have any of these. I made all these, but you can go to playlist. And then when you click the little plus symbol here, it'll create a new playlist on that flash drive. So you can type in, I'll type in October 25th for the, the date of the thing, of the showcase, press enter. I have my thing set up for imports. So now I'm gonna go to my folders or my playlist on iTunes and you can just kind of, you know, click and drag certain songs that you want onto that specific set list. So right here, I'll just drag and drop that one in there. And I like to organize my music by BPM. So for instance, this one's like 138. So I'm gonna start the set at 138. That means like, okay, fine, I'll, I'll go up, make it really fast paced. Um, so I'll probably gradually build by choosing a couple 140 songs. I'll take like this one and I'll toss it in there. Uh, I'll take this one. This one's pretty sweet, toss that in there. And then since, you know, 75 is half of 150, I can jump to the top of the list here and kind of halftime songs and it will still match. And so that's how you do that. And once you have your playlist all set up here, you're good to go. Uh, you can go into specific songs. So I'll, I'll drag a song into here. Let it play and do its thing. So right here is a drop, right? So I'm going to line this up and I'm going to set a cue point. You have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. These all these all correspond to the little buttons that you see below the, the vinyl. So I can put this one as A. Go over here. I'll put this drop or this beginning of a something going on over here as you know F. Um, and then I can skip around to those cue points on the deck, so I don't have to sit here and manually search through all the song. So you can do all that. So what I like to do for practice. Um, is since this is like, say right here, this is the end of the drop. I'm gonna put an H there. And then about four bars back or so, four to eight, set of G. This is when I, I'll let this one play and right about G, I'll start mixing my second song in. Start bringing in the other tones, other parts of the song. So you can kind of hear both and you're mixing it for a little bit. And then I'll let this like dead space or this dead like silent stuff kind of go on in the back. 
because it leaves it a little interesting while I'm trying to mix in that second song. By right here, I'm probably not going to keep playing. Because it ends. It sounds like it ends. Unless I wanted to add all this again, you know? So that's how you can organize all your music on there. Um, after you have all your stuff finished, go to the flash drive on the left-hand side by devices here, and you're going to eject it. Um, so you're going to eject it right here. It's going to remove it. And it's gone because you won't see it under devices. And that means you can pull it out of your computer and it won't damage any files. And you'll be good to go. All right, guys. Best of luck. If you have any questions, just ask me. Text me. I'll leave my phone number um, down so you guys can just hit me up if you guys need help. And, yeah, have fun.